Just seven weeks into the season, we see a big matchup in the AFC South between the Houston Texans and the Tennessee Titans. Most people had given the division to the Houston Texans after Peyton Manning went down with his surgery uh, for his neck injury and almost certainly won't play this year. Yet the Texans are really kind of spiraling right now. They've got injuries galore. They lost their best defensive player, Mario Williams, for the season. Uh, Andre Johnson has been limping around. They hope to get him back this weekend, but no one can be sure that that will happen. Matt Schaub, their quarterback, is also uh, damaged goods, but he's expected to play. Now they go into Tennessee, which is a surprising 3-2 and two in what is supposed to be a rebuilding year under new coach Mike Munchak. And the uh, Titans have gotten terrific quarterbacking out of Matt Hasselbeck, who they signed as a free agent after the lockout. And they haven't even gotten Chris Johnson, their star running back, really started yet. So things look pretty bright for the Titans. The NFL makes its fifth straight trip with a regular season game to London. The game in Wembley will have the Chicago Bears against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It's the second time the Bucks have played in these games, and they may be making some more trips there because they have some problems selling out at home. As for the matchup, these are two teams that are in the scramble for playoff berths. Even this early, you have to look at the Buccaneers as a contender. They're 4-2, and two, tied for the AFC South lead with New Orleans, and they come off a win over the Saints. The Bears have been up and down, and their biggest problem, of course, is still being able to protect Jay Cutler. Against Tampa, which doesn't have the greatest pass rush, Cutler may get some time to do some things. This could be a pretty entertaining game over in Wembley Stadium. Uh, Tim Tebow starting in Miami is uh, perfect timing for the Dolphins because they have trouble selling tickets, yet they may get a big crowd for this game. Unfortunately for the Dolphins, it'll be mostly Broncos fans, or at least people who root for Tim Tebow. There will be a celebration before the game honoring the 2008 Florida team that won the national championship and was led by Tebow. So uh, what we might see a lot of in this uh, stadium are Gator Chomps and the cheers of Tebow Tebow coming from the audience and not so much cheers for the Dolphins. As for Tebow and where his career is headed, he gets probably the rest of the season to prove that he can be a a winning quarterback in the NFL. The um, coaching staff in uh, place now in Denver did not draft him, and John Fox needs to take a look at what this guy has before he decides whether they need to go out and draft a quarterback or trade for someone. It's pretty clear that Kyle Orton won't be back um, as a starter there unless there's injuries. So it's Tebow's chance to show what he can do, and uh, I think this Sunday he might show a bit because the Dolphins are just a mess.